after the release i was waiting for one call <laughs> i cannot tell you the people received it well reviews and all that were very fortunate we were very blessed but i was waiting for one call and i just quietly sat there and then i get one mr sachin kundalkar call me <laughs> and that's when i could actually breathe everybody welcome uh to this very hopefully which will be a very fun uh, insightful um chat about films two films in particular which we're going to talk about uh ek ahe marathi uh jo manla hota happy journey jat mi hoto and which was directed by sachin kundalkar and uh kude which was an adaptation of happy journey uh and uh, i think without delaying further i would like to call uh online two of my favorite uh filmmakers who i learn so much from and uh draw so much from and uh, please sachin kundalkar and anjali menon if you could turn on your cameras hello yeah hi sachin hi hello hello hi hi sachin hi sachin hi sudan how are you yeah we're all good all good so hopefully everybody is safe and uh, every yeah, yeah. family and friends are safe what a host we have got anjali speaks both the languages yes exactly <laughs> so there were so many questions and i was like you know what no i think i should go back uh, and watch both the films when i saw happy journey i was reminded of that time when sachin we made the whole whole mm. film but there were still so many things which i don't know about still because i think i did not know you as well as i did now uh mm. but just starting the first thing i want to ask is how did you all find each other me and anjali yeah i mean what was the first connection who saw whose work for bangalore days for I me see. anjali i adore her film i mean i uh, you know there are some films where uh, you wish that you know uh why i'm so you know crazy why i can't think like her why can't i come up with such subjects and that the moment i saw bangalore days i think i just became her fan and then everybody is telling me that sachin you are a food filmmaker and you love food and haven't you seen ustad hotel and i i hadn't seen that at that time and i was shooting uh, i was shooting vazandar in panchgani and uh, prithviraj calls me <laughs> his voice and, and prithviraj told me that uh, he just saw happy journey and then uh, when i got to know uh, so anjali and i have same agents basically uh, oh. they're, they're the same agency that represents us and for longest period of time chaitanya our friend our agent said you and anjali have to meet you and anjali have to meet and then yeah i mean yeah but first of all i'm a fan because of but, bangalore but i i i have actually really like sachin's work way before bangalore days right from gonga and things i've heard about him from prithvi from other people and the kind of stories which he's always come up with is so different you re- i really don't know what is a sachin kunal ke film because every time it's something completely different and that is such a lovely thing and it's also the kind of writing that sort of excites you as a filmmaker you know because it's the very basic concepts which have always the potential to to have really deep resonance and i really like that that is such a wonderful thing to be so versatile to be able to do something so different every time hats off for that every time you have me surprised thank you so when, when we actually when we actually you know this is this is entirely neutral this feeling and and uh, i think when i got to know about happy journey was when atul ji called me up you know i didn't know him then and he called up and he said uh, you know i atul ko gaye the and i was like oh my god you know he's actually calling me in and, and he invited uh, you know me to watch the film and that's how i actually saw the film and when i went for the screening sachin was not there but you know his film was there and that, that's all it took i think and on that note i want to ask you sachin uh, which i've never asked you is that how did you come up with this um this particular format of to portray this brother sister relationship as in the mm. whole ghost thing 
I mean, it's such a, mm. you know, how do you, how do you say it's, 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 you know, ghost is always horror, but mm. how did you come up with this idea? And, mm. and then you, Anjali, how did you end up thinking, oh, you know what? I think this is something that I would like to, uh, you know, put my hands into and reinvent because you did reinvent uh, the germ because mm. they're two completely different films. That's what struck me when I saw Happy Journey yesterday and Kude today again. And that's what struck me uh, when I saw Kude for the first time. I was in the process of Happy Journey, but it was like completely different take. So Sachin, please go ahead. Well, I, uh, I think uh, the films that had made uh, before Happy Journey, uh, I, I, I was not... Uh, I was telling personal stories, but they were not my own. And I, 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 I think since Happy Journey, there's a there's a process that has started. Is that I started speaking about myself, uh, and uh, you you know being alienated from family, uh, having left home at early age, uh, always being an outsider to the family, uh, someone who stays far away from family. Also, the fact that somebody who never had a real sister. Uh, I, I've grown with this feeling of not having a sister. I have a brother and we have a great relationship, me and Suyok. But, you know, it's very special to have a sister. Sister is some something which is uh, which is an element in your life. I think it's, 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 it's very spicy. It's very interesting. It's enriching also in one way or the other. And uh, I, I, I was this uh, not having her, I think, and this whole feeling of... Uh, staying away from family for so long and having this uh, knot in your heart that do I really belong to them or not? Because I have 20 years I was out of house. Uh, I've been away from home. I think that was the whole, must have been the whole genesis. I always wanted to make uh, a brother and sister film. And I think it it, it took shape in, in, in the form of Happy Journey. I could only have her as a ghost because I don't have an experience of having a sister. I think I could. Uh, I, I think uh, the the I could be more liberated and more open and more free in portraying her character because she didn't exist, uh, not in my life, not in the film, and so the character had a sense of freedom. The brother brother got a lot of sense of freedom uh, vis a vis her presence. That's how it must have come up about uh, fantasy. Uh, I uh, I thought that I, I mean. I always thought that now I have to make a film which will look like a graphic novel, basically, which is a fantasy, which is not an animation film, which is not, uh, which is a live action film, of course, but it somehow transcends uh, the visuality of too much of reality that I was portraying in my films. Very rooted. My lighting was different. My costumes were different till then. And I, with Happy Journey, my main motive was to start developing my own perception of visuality. Uh, so that was my that was my kick in my mind that I want to develop the visuality in certain way. And so, of course, we all all feel like doing those caravan trips where we all want to stay in a caravan and eat in a caravan and just travel ahead. Yeah. So yeah, that 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 was a trigger point. Yeah. If I can answer your question, Sidhu. And uh, and what did you feel, Anjali, when you saw? Uh, because as an actor, when he told me when he narrated this whole. Um, uh, thing to me. I and after I watched the film, also I was kind of like, um, you know, I want to be in this world. Uh, this world is not real, but I wish it was real. So, how did you perceive it as an audience first, and then what made you say, "Ki, oh, you know what? This is something I want to." It was, I think, uh, you know, what what uh, Sachin just said about the genesis of his story is something that I did not know. We've never really talked about it. And I'm, I'm very glad that he's, he's speaking about it now because for me, the, the sort of impulse to make that story comes from maybe the opposite place because I am a sister you know, and I have two elder brothers. And there's, um, you know, it's, it's a very, you know, in a way they're much older to me. So almost parent-like. So I could really imagine what, you know, these two characters, what their dynamics might have been when they were alive. And uh, there are so many things in that kind of a relationship that, you know, Sachin gave a, a beautiful frame there. And I felt 
I wanted to put in a lot of stuff which really happens between brothers and sisters. And it was, it was like he comes from a space of imagination where I'm coming from a place where I've, I've maybe really gone through it. But it was given to me in a platter that first time I saw it, frankly, when, when I uh, met with Atruji after the thing, I really liked the story. And I, I was going on and on about it. And I think after I left the place, I called him the next day again to say it's, it's still stuck in my head. And I said, you know something, it would make a great film in Malayalam because it takes so well into this whole thing of, you know, somebody who's been abroad for many years. It's so much part of our culture, right? So when I said that, he said, just make it. And, you know, that's the first time I, I sort of heard someone say that. And funnily enough, I had actually spoken to our agent, Chaitanya, and said that, you know what, I would really like to adapt something to take maybe a book or another film. And then, you know, take have my own take on it so they were actually looking out for stuff that I could adapt and when Nathalie said this I said oh okay so this is again adaption and adaptation and when uh, you know I had witnessed other filmmakers trying to adapt work that I had done I was very curious about the process and I was very eager to see what it was like and, and, and you know how they would think how different would it be and all that and now when you're given somebody else's material and you're trying to do it. I realized I was so scared <laughs> because you're taking somebody's baby. It's like adopting somebody's baby, literally, and making it your own. But you have to be so responsible with material that you can't, uh, you know, the worst would be if somebody said, but then why does she have to make this film? You know, or <laughs> if there was no sense of purpose to it, oh my God, that would just kill me. And for me, after the release, I was waiting for one call. <laughs> I cannot tell you. The people received it well, reviews and all that were very fortunate, we were very blessed. But I was waiting for one call and I just quietly sat there and then I get one Mr. Sachin Kundalkar call me. <laughs> and that's when I could actually breathe because he actually said, you know what, it's two completely different films. And uh, you've just taken the germ and you've just made it your own. And, mm. and he felt happy about it. And he's been so graceful and so generous through all of it that I just, oh, I cannot tell you. That was uh, such a relief. It was a huge relief. You know, this is just this one point which Sachin just mentioned. Uh, I remember now, it just clicked in my head. The first time we met, uh, when he wanted to narrate me the film, he said, I want this character to unbelong, uh, I, uh, he, he used yeah. in Marathi, he said, a Marathi, I want that non-Marathi-ness uh, yeah. and which is why I'm approaching yeah. uh, somebody who's not... Not Maharashtrian, yeah, uh, speaks Maharashtrian. That sort of a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I remember him saying very starkly that, you know, I'm, I'm so fed up of uh, spending like this and I'm so so I, I think we need a fresh yeah uh, we need to break free and we need to uh, but what was in your mind I mean what was the 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 soul of Kude? For me actually it was Joshua it was his character his intense loneliness his trauma his journey going from hope to hopelessness back to hmm. that, that is what it was because from within that character from Niranjan's character I found there was so much angst there there was so much anger and you know he, he had obviously there was trauma there we were that is not the tone of the film of course but somehow that is what spoke to me the most and so it was uh, in, in my head it was never a uh, a very light film or anything. No, for me it was in a very dark space. Yeah, it was in a very dark space, and that the fantasy element has to be a complete fairy taleish contrast. To it. Yeah, because only then it, 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 it brackets the film, and it is it is an escapist film, definitely, because that is exactly what our character is also doing, and for a lot of people who are. Uh, to go through very challenging times in life, that is the way they cope. 
and it, it, it may not be to the extent that we see in this particular film, but in the smallest of ways, we try to escape our realities. We try to get away from it and we make up these stories in our head, which become our, how do we say, our perceived history. It may not be true, but that is our perception of what happened to me. You ask anybody what happened to you, there will be everybody who has a certain bit of trauma in their life. But there are some people who have so much of it which has never been shared, which has never been brought out. And to me, that is who Niranjan was. So from, I don't actually think there is you know, so much of a distance between Niranjan and Joshua, but it is in the treatment of the film, in the, in the sort of genre that it's been put into, that, that the journey changes. But otherwise, I think, uh, you know, for me, they come from the same place. It's from this gentleman's writing. So, you know, it's, it's coming from that space. That, that well, loneliness is, is what the root is. When I saw both the films again, I used to always ask myself, why, why should one um, adapt a film which has already been made? Okay, you adapt a novel, okay. But if, it, if it's there, why should one, you know, because for me, uh, there are so many similarities because we're all humans. I mean, no matter what the region. Yeah, may, maybe there are slight cultural differences here and there. But um, I think um, Happy Journey and Kure are, I think it's really a class apart in terms of how to adapt um, a film. What I want to uh, discuss Siddharth here is that, and you said yeah. that, why do we adapt? I think, yeah, yeah. Uh, why would two directors uh, stage Othello? I think, mm -hmm. uh, for example, they, they both are attracted to Shakespeare and they feel that there's a script in center. You know, in cinema, I think script is everything. Script is everything. It's bigger than all of us. It's bigger than cinema also. Yeah. So I think uh, if you both are attracted towards a script which is in between, kept there in between you, I think two directors would be, you know, they'll give out separate inputs and that's why we feel like uh, adapting it. It's the same reason in theatre, why two directors do Oth Othello, for example. That is when we are interpreting it, isn't it? And yeah. we are interpreting it with our yeah. experience, with our worldview, yeah. with our thought and each mm. of that is so individual. Yeah. So, you know, um, Sachin's lens would be very different from mine, should be very different from yours. So, yeah. if you were to take the same material and make it again, it would be a completely different yeah. film, depending yeah. on who you are. Yeah. So, I think that, and it's also not a thing of, you know, doing it differently just for the sake of being different. Yeah. It's about being honest to the characters also, and yeah. understanding them. And, when, when you know, there's already in front of you, they are standing as, as live flesh and blood characters, then it's almost easier to understand them. But there's also a thing of when, when you're, you know, there are some characters you bring in who are not there in the original narrative. And there may be others who you remove, who, you know, are not there. Then what do you hold on to? That for me was always a thing of, you know, can I be as free about removing characters and bringing in new characters? Can I do that? So there was always this this feeling, and and uh, Siddharth, you called it pressure, but actually it wasn't pressure. It was just a, a, a big sense of responsibility. Yeah. You know, it was just that, and and because you you respect the person who's written this, you really want to be more faithful to their vision. Yeah. And also give it your spin. It's even like when you're working with any other writer. Yeah. You know, I would I would seek that freedom. Even if a script was written for me and it's not an adaptation, I would still seek the freedom of, of you know, being able to interpret it. Now, Sachin was saying that the script is you know, bigger than everything. Maybe I wouldn't say that. You know, that way maybe we're a little different. For me, the script is just a springboard. I think yeah. after the script, what you make of it, it should be something different from the first script. Hmm. Because otherwise, what is the contribution of the director? Yeah. No, yeah. what I meant to say was that script is a beginning point. I mean, script is that neutral yes. material, yes. Uh, which I think both directors can interpret in their own way. So I, I exactly second your opinion that script is a neutral thing. And that's why two directors want to access it and give it the colors that, that they want. Yes. But it doesn't happen very often in uh, Cinema Anjali. 
uh, I mean, uh, uh, the the little history that we have been around making films, we we both are that way professionally young filmmakers. Uh, we have started on our way now, and we'll we have a long way to go. But uh, the you know, you and I right now sitting and chatting with each other. Also, there have been times when you've shared your ideas with me after Happy Journey. Such openness and such uh, mutual. admiration for each other's work is not a common practice in our business and that's why i think siddharth must be asking this question out of you know wondering yeah. how it could happen because yeah. he knows we all know i mean that that it's not always a great experience not always a great you know uh, we 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 i mean what we experience it doesn't happen always i think is is lovely when it happens different regions coming together and you know like yeah. you're saying your word cross pollination i should yeah <laughs> for that yeah, yeah. so it's uh, lovely when that happens but also um, siddharth let's not lose sight of one thing not mm. all material is adaptable mm. i was i was uh, I, i was going to come to that actually that how does one as a filmmaker decide because I see mean, when when you are making or when sachin has written and made a film he has set it in a cultural milieu okay now there are films the minute you take it out of there they just fall flat you know you can't work with that material yeah. there are films where irrespective of whatever cultural milieu you set it in mm. some basic human values they ring true now when you talk about shakespearean plays isn't that the thing yeah that's why sitting here you know in in india in such a completely different culture we are continuing to adapt shakespearean works because yeah. it's those human values which are really ringing true for us so that material also needs to be adapted so i think yeah. that that quality of writing is is definitely there when uh, you know such and put something down and that that makes it accessible to us across cultures across languages and across individualities for different interpretations but how much did you have to think about um, the audience uh, uh, i mean did you ever think about the audience and also such in this question goes to you if ever uh, the cross pollination happens from the other way round uh, let's say hypothetically you were uh, adapting ustad hotel again hmm. would you or do you think oh this the audience this is an element from the original film like this was a element from happy journey i might have to tweak this because probably the audience won't get it i mean is that a i mean more than audience i would think about how it would beautifully culturally fit into uh the world of the film that i am going to make from it and if i have to uh, reinterpret it not tweak it but reinterpret it in certain way the same thing what anjali has done i think uh, kude is uh, it's it's quintessentially a rich malayalam film it doesn't look like a remake of a marathi film because uh, she has adapted it so beautifully in 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 the milieu that she has chosen to tell a story in uh, the liberties that she has taken the they 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 only enrich the 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 process and so it all depends on director's uh, perception and director's capacity also director's understanding and vision of his own society uh uh and his own depth that so the reason why are you adapting it you are not adapting it just for the style just for the sake of drama but you have your own reason to adapt it and uh, the, and that's what is when we mean by thinking about the audience not only for the box office Uh, I, I do believe that you know when we are seeking that our film be watched by an audience, mm. you know, like he said, not not just for commercial reasons, but for an audience mm. to engage with it, then it is important to think of the audience, you know, and how they will receive it, and what is their uh, cultural orientation, mm. what is their understanding of characters like this, mm. what is you know in in when it's a Malayali audience and I show a man in the Gulf. you don't have to say much yeah it's it's so much part of our culture yeah. we know that toiling you know laborer who sends money back home we know him yeah so you can just show him for 2 minutes and and know his whole life story you don't yeah. have to say much and that is of course coming from an understanding of you know of of their own experience and yes when 
I, I try to interpret it in a certain way. I do rely on, on uh, the audience to understand a bit more than what is just on screen. I do rely on that. And mm. uh, I wanted to also keep it at, at a very subdued level than have it all underlined and spelt out. I think for anyone who wants to see, it's pretty clear, it's out there. What was is funny is after, I think two years after the release of the film, somebody put out a review. When the film was released, I had asked Sachin actually, and Aturi as well, how do we get people not to speak about the content of the film? And they told me about this wonderful thing that they actually called up media houses and everybody and requested do not give away the content. And they heard them, which was great. Yeah. Know, which that itself says a lot about the industry. So here we could not, our, our uh, you know, uh, media doesn't really work in that way. So I was really concerned about people just writing about it in a certain way, but it tends to happen. We can't, you know, we can't really change that. So I wanted to craft it in a way that people can end with their own interpretations. But at the same time, what I want to say is very much there. So two years after the release of the film, somebody put out a review saying revisiting Kude. And they put down this this whole interpretation of Jenny not being there in the film, that she's just a figment of Joshua's imagination. <laughs> and then all hell broke loose <laughs> because <laughs> a lot of people who had responded saying, oh, we love the brother-sister relationship and, you know, family story and all that. They all went back and saw it and they saw something else because, you know, mm. there, was a, there was a certain context. And that for me was a very enriching process. Mm. And that actually happened during this lockdown when people had the time to watch it again yeah. and the time to pay attention to you know smaller mm. things and uh, that was I, I've never been through that before and uh, that was a very rewarding experience I must say. Nice. Just uh, I mean uh, also there was I don't know if you all know about this I don't know if I've told Sachin about it many years before uh, me and Roshan Matthew kind of bumped into each other. And we had never met each other before, but we knew each other. So he, he was kind of like, mm, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was such a surreal. Uh, and then him being the sweet guy that he is, he's like, no, but yours was better. No, 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 but yours was better. <laughs> yours was better. No, no, many people have told me yours was better. So, I mean, uh, did were you all ever... Uh, an audience to such a con conversation between Atul and Prithvi ever, especially, I mean, since Atul was in Kude as well, and he had a, a track which was completely new and completely, and it was portrayed by him so, so beautifully. Uh, did you kind of feel weird <laughs> that, you know, Are Niranjan is sitting here? And, you know? well, I was, I was very keen, you know, I, I would love to work with him, you know, period. But yes. when it came to this particular film, Somewhere I wanted to, to give a tribute to Happy Journey, you know, within the film. And <laughs> I thought, oh, this would be a wonderful way to do it. And, and when I did reach out to him, he was more than ready. And that was just so sweet. And all that was great until he turned up and he was on set. And I was thinking, oh, my God, I actually <laughs> have them in the same frame. And, you know, that again, just like Sachin, he was very generous. He did not, you know, he just switched off from Niranjan and got into, you know, coach and that was that. Never was it about, you know, asking further or how is this or how is that, nothing. Then it was only about his character. And what's interesting is that, uh, you know, we were doing one scene where there was Atali, there was Prithvi and there was Parvati. And uh, we real I realized in that one scene that Prithvi and Atali are very alike as actors. You know, they like to know what is happening in the frame. They like to know about everything that every person is doing there. And Prithviraj? Yes, yes. The most much. chilled out. I mean, my experience <laughs> of Prithvi has been, I mean, for me, Atul and Prithvi are poles apart. Atul <laughs> oh, is I, like I, what you're I, saying. Atul I is found them very like what you're saying. Huh? Prithvi is a gentleman on set. I mean, he is. They're both so gentlemen on set. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 in the sense that Prithvi support i mean uh, they they both have been great collaborations with me but atul goes into details of everything he wants to know he preps a lot and 
Prithvi is like a new gen generation actor who comes delivers i think my experience of both of them was so different what a conversation we are having i hope they don't watch it no they should they should watch it i think they should because yeah because yes. i think prithvi and oh yeah so that you found them same no, so i found them very similar in yeah. their approach because prithvi is actually you know i i i am not at all surprised that he's directing because i think he thinks of all of that you know so okay. he's he's he thinks of every aspect that is going into the frame he'll ask okay. you know how is this cutting with that and all that but never in an obtrusive way you know he'll yeah. never come and question my work or nothing like that never. but he's very curious about you know how it is being staged so there was this mm-hmm. one scene we were doing and parvati is the complete opposite she will just do her bit and she has you no know, no interest in what anybody else is doing that's it you know whatever they're doing it will happen then whereas Both of these gentlemen were very curious. But where is this going? Where is that going? That yeah. <laughs> I just broke out laughing because this, it's so interesting to see parallels. And in a way, I was glad because now Anthony was so much into his character, he didn't really have the time for you know everybody yeah. else. He was just focusing on his thing. But within his scene, yes, he needed to know how everything was happening. And yeah, Prithvi, Prithvi similar for his scenes. So they went into their own zones. Mm. So that helped me so I that helped that. you correct yes yes correct. so that was nice that was uh, very nice to see it also um you know another thing i wanted to discuss um i think with happy journey it was a very what should i say it was a very inclusive film uh, uh, you know the the brother sister and the main characters around them uh, it was it was very and and the band which was a character in itself you know the whole redoing of the van yeah. and and i know sachin worked a lot on the refurbishing and the renovation of that uh, van with tejas i think i think tejas is the one yeah. uh, who completely redesigned the whole thing but here uh, uh, there were so many more elements for example brownie uh, yeah. or or you know the uh, going a lot more into the past of joshua and jenny mm-hmm. uh and there's more more a community and there's more a yeah, yeah it's it's more social as a film i feel the happy journey is more uh, personal uh it's 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 more i mean it's but that's how i mean i mean i feel as an audience while watching today is that that's how uh, a kerala film will be because the kind of society in a semi urban areas i think she has mm-hmm. absorbed it really beautifully they can't remain isolated isn't it I, i think i have a disadvantage as a writer that i cannot write with a few characters really <laughs> <laughs> every time i tell myself next film two people in one room yeah it's so, then... you know anjali last was summer anjali called me and then she's discussing some idea and uh, the, something and then the whole restriction anjali on call gives me it has to be only two characters in the film <laughs> only two not a character more i said why because you know i'm fed up of myself writing films of groups and friends and i said only two characters she said yes two characters <laughs> so <laughs> i'm waiting anjali make that film now <laughs> oh, seriously this this thing now it's a it's a it's a lack of control as a writer and now <laughs> i'm i'm making a short film they've given me chuttu sa budget and i've written like a plethora of characters <laughs> i i don't know what to do with that's myself a, frankly yeah, it's very so, natural for kude to have so many so that's the reason that you know yeah. yahan pe bhi the whole village is coming it, yeah. there is <laughs> you know tripping on people all over the place yeah. which is a very sad thing <laughs> but yeah i have <laughs> to be more controlled and i have to learn to be more uh, you know economical <laughs> to be able to tell a story with two people but inshallah i shall do it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just last because we were talking about happy journey and today what do you think uh, as writer and director of the films what is uh, ahead for joshua and niranjan after happy journey and after today what is their life like post post happy journey mm. like what what do you think must have happened marriage happened that's <laughs> boring, but it happened <laughs> and that baby happened which is end of journey basically the caravan <laughs> broke down yeah so i don't know what can happen after marriage and baby nothing happens so i mean i'm sorry sorry anjali <laughs> 
Hello, you're to- you're talking to two ma- married people. Yeah, married people. So I said sorry. Okay. I'll, over to Anjali now. I'll stop here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, really, it's a difficult question. Enough now. Maybe drawn jo- now. Joshua and uh, there is yeah. nothing new to decide. I think now. Roshan no, and uh, Roshan and Siddharth want their stories to be taken ahead. So I think they have planned sure this Roshan question. Will be very happy yes. To hear yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. but uh, great! Thank you so much for. Uh, Lovely talking so to much. friends. I mean, I I'm so happy. You know, I've been like when I when when I was told by Pune Podcast that we all will be meeting three of us. I was so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hopefully, yeah, uh, we should yeah, have these discussions because it's, yes, uh, you know, it's it's just so healthy in a way. It is yeah. to yes. be able to just speak openly and yeah. yes. to to be just sharing perspectives yeah. so much yeah. to learn